one penultimate or sometimes quite the handful, but two of them engaged in an epic contest to prove which one is more penultimo. Our story got truly, truly weird near its end. Old foes attacking us from beyond the grave, and the Mayan apocalypse hot on our heels. But <laughs> it was quite the ride. May the odds ever favor our finest athlete, Penultimo. Oh, hello, Penultimo, the golden athlete. My former well, self thinks he's so call clever, him. but he does not know that I know all of his secrets. I know what he cannot resist. The only challenge he will be forced to accept, Penultimo Ball. All right, so I guess this mission will be a little bit of a parody on the Super Bowl. It is the final mission, the sixth one of the Espionage expansion as well. So it is a game I devised in my youth, which I have always been so eager to play, but no one wanted to play with me. I'm issuing a formal Penultimo Bowl challenge. The first event will undoubtedly begin shortly. We must get at least five points in order to win the challenge, but my former self is a crafty and worthy adversary who will no doubt have hidden cards up his sleeve. Have at least five points to win Penultimo Bowl. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and try to win Penultimo Bowl at um, whatever the cost necessary. Uh, we are going to be making a lot of money, hopefully through exports, although I will need to actually go ahead and upgrade a lot of my city as well. Uh, we only have clinics, so no hospitals or anything of the sort yet. Um, also, We've researched everything that Better was in the Cold War as well, so that's also a big help. The first event is a test of strength, a tug of war between our islands. My older self will undoubtedly pick the strongest team and try to cheat, but I am older and wiser, sort of. Let's hope that sort of actually carries through. Instead of focusing on the team, we should focus on making our island heavier. And this way, we will use their strength against them. Build 30 new buildings on the island to increase its weight. Shacks are too light and will not be counted. You will lose the game if you fail to complete this task in 30 months. <laughs> this reminds me very much of that US Senator, I think his name was Hank Johnson. If you type in Hank Johnson, it will definitely be the first video that pops up on YouTube. But... He's a guy who at a Senate uh, committee was asking um, if the soldiers stationed on Guam, because Guam he, he believed was a very, very small island. Guam is actually fairly large, I, I believe. Anyway, it's fairly large. But he, um, he literally asked if uh, the soldiers of all the military equipment stationed there will actually lead to Guam capsizing. I thought was very amusing. So what I'm going to do is a bit of a cheat. Was, well, it's not really cheat, but we're going to modernize all these buildings. And look at that. This counts as 10 new buildings just built up like that. So we actually save up so much time just like that, which is um, quite useful for this mission. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build up more apartments, but we're going to build them the good old fashioned way. And we'll actually build them right off the start. So we're going to do a bit of that. Um, there goes a fair amount of money. So, here we go. Thankfully, there's a new ship coming in, which should be all right. So, now I've got 20 buildings to build in 26 months. Shouldn't be too bad. We can build security checkpoints if we're that desperate. We shouldn't be, though, but if it comes down to it, we can get pretty desperate. So, what else are we doing? Um, oh, wait. I can't actually afford that um, expense, but I should get fracking posts. Here we go, there's another ship coming in, which is great news for me. Lots of ships coming in, which means lots of money through exports. Now, I also should be able to upgrade these high schools as well. Effectiveness is increased by 50, which is actually quite a bit. So, let's wait up for this ship to come in, and that'll like uh, put us back I in the black. Fellow listeners, I am not one for cramped spaces. And while I can't say that these new apartments the government built for us are all that bad, well, let's just say that when a friend of mine was peeling onions for dinner, she made her neighbors cry. <laughs> so basically she's saying that they all live too close. And uh, we aren't even using the tight quarters action. 
on the building. So it could be a lot worse. So she should be grateful for what she can get. For all the space that she could get. Check out this second mission. So provided with the right fuel, Penultimo will use the time machine to create a rift in the space-time continuum and delay the end of the current Penultimo Bowl event. Um, now this uses our um, Swiss slush fund. So I've got a heck of a lot of money there. So I can really afford to just do that. Extend the time by a lot more. So that's not really going to be too much of a problem. Presidente, Penultimo Bowl is the perfect spectator sport. We should monetize this. We can make a ton of money from tourists. Have 50 tourists on the island and that gives us $10,000 to our Swiss slush fund. Now, I don't really need to focus on the Swiss slush fund stuff, but I am going to build it because it is part of the um, campaign storyline and we don't want to be missing out any of that because I'm really enjoying the storyline. I mean, the gameplay does get fairly repetitive. I do like how we actually do get to expand upon in Tropico 5 of our um, cities and island. Um, it is something different and it is very, very nice. But the game really shines through with the story, I must admit. I'm really enjoying it so far. Alright, so now that we've got enough money, uh, we can go ahead and what I'll do is I'll start extending some of these roads. We want to keep them nice and straight though. Something like so. Alright. What I'll do is I'll keep this one nice and curved. Alright, something different. Just I want these roads on the side being parallel and nice and straight. So now that we've got that, we can go to tourism. And I'm going to build a economy hotel first off. Right over there. And we're also going to go to... Oh, not enough money for the cruise ship. But I am going to build the cruise ship right over here in this nice little bay over here. We'll call it the Bay of Tropico. So in the Bay of Tropico, we'll have a nice little cruise ship waiting for us. So we're going to have to keep on building. The cruise ship actually gets built automatically, which is nice as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep on using my slush fund money into um, extending this mission. You know what? Let's do it again. There we go. 36 months. So... We have no real stress in um, trying to make time. We'll be all right. Thankfully. All right, so now that we've got all that money, now we can build that cruise ship. I'll build it right over here. There we go. Seems like we've already got some managers. Oh, sorry, workers there. It's illiterate people that it needs, so not a problem. Right, let's go build up some more tourism build. Oh, here we go. Attracts more tourists that arrive on the island via plane. Increase tourism rating by 10. Unique building. So you can only get one. And we'll build it right over here. There we go. In between those, uh, that, those parallel roads. Now that we've got that, we've run out of money. Jeez, that must have cost a lot. See, I've got so much that I don't really check how much things cost, but I guess in the late game the buildings start costing a lot of money like that cruise ship 40,000 that airport must have cost there's no way it was 16,000 but cost a lot I think a lot more than 16,000 also we are seemingly running out of money or well, running out of power sorry um, I don't know where I got money from but running out of power which is no good we need to get on top of that there we go Back to producing some power. And I'll get totally natural as well. So the effectiveness of clinics and hospitals on the islands is increased by 20 based on effectiveness. That's going to be useful. Um, I'm going to have to start building hospitals and all. What I'll do first off is actually extend this road. Okay. So I'll build hospitals. I might even build the hospitals right right over here like inside where these um apartments are interesting we might do that we've also got 41 out of 50 tourists and that's just from the cruise ship so we're gonna hit that really quickly all right um let's go to Allow bombing runs in combat. I love that. But what about a giant laser? Allows remote dis disintegration of enemy squads and building personnel. Man, that's tempting. 
Alright. So, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Wait up for another shipment or two. Maybe we upgrade this. I don't really care about pollution. I mean, I remember in Tropico 4, the environmentalists really cared about it. And that's all they'd ever do. The, the environmentalists were my arch nemesis. I always hated my mines and my... Um, what is the hate? The mines and the... Well, just the pollution. They always wanted me to build waste treatment plants. Those silly buggers. Alright. So, we've got a lot of money coming in very shortly, which is also going to be great. So, now we can actually get on top of what I wanted to do and build a hospital or two. I'll just build it over here. Something like so. We'll build another one. Because you can never have enough. And we'll also build a cathedral. Now, where should the cathedral go? I think we'll place it. Let's see. Maybe over here. I'm not sure if that range is going to be big enough, but it'll look nice. Nice and symmetrical. Look at that city. Very nice. A tropic and utopia if ever there was one. Yeah, that's a fair amount of buildings that we're building. So, what is that? That is one, two, three, four, five. Alright, that should be five. Still a little while left until we complete one victory point. But, I mean, it is costing us a fair amount. So, let's go ahead and... Um, we should win those elections, but you never know. Let's get more Rakia. For the cost of 8,000 um, in our slush fund. Increase the time by um, six, uh, 12 months, sorry. Which is very useful. There we go. 52%. That's crazy stuff. How quickly that, that does change. But hopefully our builders are going to be building quick smart. Also, we should start getting some more tourists any moment now. Hopefully, anyway. Should start coming in. And we should continually be winning this um election or the polls before the election president as you know it is your will alone i don't need a new success i'll be living forever Mr. thank president, you very much a blow to penultimo's head has resulted in a relapse of his split personality this time he's locked himself in the palace basement calling it his cat cave <laughs> Definite deja vu. Once again, Penultimo believes he's Catman, a crime-fighting superhero. To cure him, you'll need to first get him out of the palace basement. Unfortunately, I have a searchlight with a silhouette of a misspelled cat on it. We just need to power it up and we'll grab Penultimo's attention. I'll accept that because no doubt I'll need that much power later. I'll ha definitely be having or producing that much with the nuclear power plant once I build that, which will be very soon. We do have some uranium over here as well. Alright. Our builders are taking their time. Uh, but it's alright. Maybe we should pay them a little bit more. But they are pretty much our slaves. Waiting for us. Thankfully there's no disasters or anything coming up. Thankfully. Those disasters were a pain in the backside last episode. That's for sure. Also, I should be able to upgrade the college. Effectiveness is increased by 50. There we go. That's a great help. Alright. Pretty happy with all of that. Um, also, what I could do is lower the budgets for all these buildings. There we go. So that means wealth required is going to be poor. So I won't be making profits out of these buildings. Um, but that means more people are able to live here, which is what I want. Which is what I definitely want. I mean, we do have our facilities like the distillery and the cigar factory to make us money. There we go, we got that as well. And decreases workers by four and increases we effectiveness have an by 20. No need for election fraud. Hopefully not. Alright, so let's keep on upgrading the distillery as well. And it's that going as well All right, good stuff the election results are in it's only it went back down to 50 percent geez that's crazy imagine if we lost that at 49 percent like we were winning it the whole time we'll not have been president fun. 
The penultimo bowl grand finale approaches. We should build enough seats for everyone who wants to attend. Have two stadiums. So 10,000 and 5,000 to our slash fund each time you complete an event successfully. All right, so we'll build that over here. Uh, where would that be? Tours, I must have missed it. There we go, there it is. It's a luxury entertainment. Jeez, how exclusive. So I'll build it right there for the people to enjoy. There'll be two stadiums. This will be our stadium precincts. We'll get the car parks facing each other, which should look very, hopefully, realistic. All right. Have a good feeling about this. We're producing quite a bit of power, so once those hospitals are built, we should be all right still. Although the airport and um, the stadiums, I'm pretty sure, will take up electricity, so you need to start thinking about that as well. Got a fair amount of new buildings popping up. Left, right, and center. You know what? We'll go use the rocket as well. Just to extend the time yet again. 21 people have died from starvation. I don't know how that's possible. What well, is possible though is for us to upgrade all of these farms. Uh, because um, even though the soil quality and all that degrades over time, because of the last mission, it doesn't really matter all that much at all. Well, it doesn't matter at all. Um, this is all up. Oh, no, that's not. There we go. So that's it for the farms. Um, we've got that oil well upgraded. Increase the reserves of oil and natural gas in the deposit by 15,000. I'll definitely use that. And we'll also upgrade this guy. What I want to do is just check out. He's got 3,800 oil left. Wow. That really is 15,000 of just oil. That's crazy. That's a big boost. That is um, definitely good value for money. You've got to make sure you get in there quick, though. But, um, yeah, definitely making us a lot of money, which is good. You which know is what, they what say, I like. Right? You know the economy is doing well when your dictator buys golden AKs for his palace guards. Did we do that? No, we didn't. Let's go ahead and get some commandos in the palace, though. There we go. That'll be a bit of a help. <laughs> Let's get modern infantry there as well. Our Ministry of Information is working hard. Look at him go. What about the Spy Academy? What I'll do is we'll go espionage and how about the dirty Russians? Oh, here we go. Or the Middle Easterners or China or the EU. Oh, okay. Let's steal money from the EU because we've got the highest chance of success there. Even though I would much prefer to steal from the dirty Ruskies, we'll do it from the EU with their incompetent bureaucracy. All right, so what else the do we have over here? EU seems to be rolling in cash, and they seem to be handing it out to all sorts of riffraff. That's perfect. That's exactly why we're going to be stealing money from them. I'll just, um, I won't do that mission. Because there is really no need. Although, look at all these shacks that we have up over here. What I want to do is check up on these houses. Oh, these apartments are all filled up. Interesting stuff. So let's go back to residential apartment and let's continue on. All right, once all of the stuff that we have over here is going to be built, um, we should reach the um, 30 buildings. Oh, well, I'll be very close. And we've got six here. I think the airport is just taking its sweet time for it to be built. Um, what I could do is actually quick build these buildings because we've got way too much money than I know what to do with. So we can afford ourselves some liberty in um, quickly building a lot of these buildings. We've actually you know quick building pretty much all of them. Ladies? Cute doctors. I think I may just get sick and catch me a good doctor real soon. When hunting doctors, you have to remember one thing. They scare easily. 
So you always have to wear excellent makeup as camouflage. All right, the airport's taking its sweet time. We went ahead and um, cheated our way, pretty much, to, well, not cheat, but bought our way to victory. Why aren't these guys getting any power? All oh, right, I know why. Because the power only reaches so far. I wonder if the electrical substations are going to count as buildings. Let's go check that out. Yeah, they do, okay. Let's go with another electrical substation. I'll quick build that as well. There we go. And these guys are just hogging the power. So what I might be able to do, well, I'll upgrade that little air, like that. But what I'll need to do is do that and might as well lower the pollution because why not? But doesn't really help us out. Oh, here we go. We got some planes. Probably flying through some buildings. No, but that is an interesting landing, to say the least. Where are these people complaining? We are on the I'll just buy them out. The next event is a test of cunning, and the ultimate contest for this is called Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> okay. Of course, they will be cheating. I still think of a way to out cheat our rival. Uh, I will think of a way. So, win at Rock, Paper, Scissors. That's an interesting challenge. Presidente, it is our turn in the game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. What will we pick? Rock, Paper, Scissors, or Cheat? Let's choose Rock. It is a draw. Quick, pick a game. How is this possible? I know the other penultimate Presidente just chooses the, the same answer as you. How can we win if we're fighting a Presidente? Up. Presidente, it is our turn. It is a draw. Quick, Presidente, <laughs> it is our turn in the game of rock, paper, scissors. So it seems like what happens is that it's going to be drawn no matter what we choose. So we're going to have to cheat our way to the victory. The rock, paper, scissors contest will be resolved behind closed doors. I've devised a genius plan. I'll use radar dishes to detect my inner thoughts. This way, we'll always know my opponent's next move. Have four overpriced radars. You will lose the game if you fail to complete the task in 30 months. All right, that should be easy. It's another couple of buildings that we need to build. Although that objective is long gone now. So here come the radars. Um, I don't think it really matters where we place them. Uh, what benefit do they give us? Protect enemy against enemy espionage actions and generates research points. So the research points can be useful. I think I'm just going to build four of them here without much thoughts behind it and I'm just gonna go oh, well, I can't really even build the fourth one without losing money Jeez, we're generating a lot of power though which is good generated the 1000 that we need and everything is being powered up which is a bit of a surprise let's see total consumption 700 producing 1100 though good stuff All right, so let's build that fourth radar. And we can quick build one. And we'll quick build the second one. Even though that'll put us in the red, we do have another ship. Well, we've, we've always got ships coming in, giving us money. Look at that, 20,000, 20,000. Hey, we're making such ridiculous amounts of money. Like, we are set for life. What I can do, though is go ahead and upgrade all these apartments. If only there was a way to actually mass electrify these apartments instead of just doing it one by one. Because it does get annoying. Oh, we can take it in batches though. But I'll probably miss a um, building or two. Which probably isn't something that we want to do. Now, this increases the consumption of electricity by 20 megawatts. So, it does add up really quickly. Let's check this out. Oh, I don't think we'll be Hooray! able to... We now know what my move will be. ...section. All right. The other penultimo will play paper. Let's... How about let's choose... Oh. Oh, let's choose rock. Yes, I want to choose rock. Um, I'm, I'm really scared if uh, we're going to lose, but let's go try this out. My one conquest. 
the one peak I conquered in all my life. Oh! Oh, boom! Oh, shots fired! Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> I should have expected that though. All right, let's go check out the game save though. Um, at 8.24. Oh geez, we're going to lose quite a bit. All right, so I'll see you guys again into roughly where um, we left off. Jeez, <laughs> that's pretty funny though. The election that was well worth it. All right, we're back to pretty much where we left off. Embarrassingly, where we lost. Although... It's not really all that embarrassing because I specifically chose just to test out what would happen. Unfortunately, I didn't save before, so we need to have Hooray! to catch we up about what my move will be. a couple minutes um, of work, but it's not too bad. It's always fun with Tropico, and uh, plus we're in a pretty commanding position. So this time, instead of rock, let's choose scissors. And this time, very clearly, we don't lose. We all we do is just get a victory point. We don't really seem to be celebrating it, but okay. I do like this design of um, choosing um, or spinning the stadiums around so like their car parks are facing each other. Looks very nice, I must say. An ingenious idea. I also went ahead and uh, upgraded all these apartments back to um, like we did. And I think I also upgraded the oil refinery if it wasn't already upgraded with the, the next event or... is upon us this time it will be a test of masculinity but as children will be present at these events we will not be able to use the classic approach towards determining these things so how do you suppose penultimo we have come up with a new thing we can measure instead drones so this has become the who has the biggest drone competition we have this in the bag have a fully upgraded drone command. You will lose the game if you fail to complete this task in 30 months. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'll extend this road like so. All right, there we go. And I will go ahead and create a drone command over here. Now that takes 300 energy, which means um, I'm probably, you know what we can do? Let's build a couple wind farms because I'm just feeling frisky like that. Now, if you place them on the shoreline, they're much better. If only you could place it on the ocean, that'd be pretty cool. A bit like you can in City Skylines. Okay, which I didn't really play enough of, but that's a story for another time. Thankfully, we are completing Let's Plays now because we're completing this, which is great news to everyone involved. Actually, I don't really need to connect that up. All right, so... Total power, total consumption. Okay, we still need a lot more power. Let's keep on building up these wind farms. How much do they give us though? Like one wind farm produces a hundred, so that's really good actually. Produces quite a bit. Now what I'm able to do is head over to Espionage and finally build that drone command. Automatically disposes of crime lords, rebels, and spies without repercussion. That's very useful. I must say these buildings that they've included in Espionage are very creative and they do change the gameplay in a pretty good way. Very nice. Alright, so let's um, quick build that. Also what I want to do is just quickly check up how much does this cost to run? 112 a month. That's not that much. Not too bad at all. All right, so here is the drone command. Would you have one drone here? If I slow time down, there we go. Have a look at how it flies over the volcano. I actually did not realize that we had a volcano here. Very cool. It's even got its own sound effects and all. All right. So, what we need to do is upgrade this. Now, this takes high school workers. And let's go ahead and... Oh, it's just one upgrade that it's got. Accidental strikes for $6,000. When no crime lords or rebel leaders are identified, the citizens with the lowest approval rate will be eliminated. That's also very useful. And I guess also the no repercussions also translates to this. So, let's go purchase that. And that should... There we go. That's three out of five victory points. We're well on, well on our way to victory. 
wonder what's going to be number four and five. Uh, well, we're doing very well. Um, let's see. Lifetime profit $67,000. Jeez, it's crazy. Crazy stuff. What about this airport? We can upgrade it so it would receive additional profits from tickets and all foreign relations are increased by 10, but the budget of the airport will be increased. That's all right with me. Choose the cathedral. Ordination autonomy. Next is the talent competition. It turns out that the only talent I and my former self have is eating. So this is a competitive eating competition. Yay. I have trained my whole life for this. So has my former self, but I'm older. Just give me enough food and we'll win this. So I guess this is like a critique on just American society. Like, um, obviously you've got a penultimate bowl, a penultimate bowl or whatever it was called on the Super Bowl. Then you've got the excessive eating and you've got the sports stadiums to capitalize on it. Very interesting. Uh, we want tourists as well to be added as a um, preferred um, tourist group because the tourists are right there. It looks so weird. If you look at the houses and you scroll from left to right, it just looks very weird. It confuses me. Like my eyes just. I don't know, it just looks very weird. Just on my screen, I guess. I wonder how it comes up on the video. Alright. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these um, episodes that are just the length of the mission as well. They are very long, so I do know that there's not too many um, Tropico fans out there, I guess, on my channel. My channel's died off, obviously, but um, the guys that are interested in this, you guys can watch it all in one episode if you're that way inclined. All right, so we're still thwarting espionage threats. It seems like the espionage threats are pretty much quelled because no real buildings have been destroyed. Which is good. So let's go on to exporting some food then, shall we? We seem to be doing pretty well. Um, well, as long as with food at least. Because we've got lots of pineapples. Um, I thought we had a wharf here for fishes. I guess we didn't. I swear we did though. Um, we've got a bit of everything here really. Oh. I guess, I, I swear I upgraded this, but I guess um when we lost the game, it didn't save because that was after it. The autosave. Thankfully, this game does autosave, which is quite the godsend when it comes to people like me. Let's keep on consuming some more electricity and we you know what? We might as well go with raw resources. Actually, we'll build, no, we don't want ranches, we want factory farms. We'll just build a couple of them here. And we'll quick build them, actually. There we go. That gets filled up really quickly. And we'll also upgrade these buildings with both because they will help us out in the long run. Even though there's not much of a long run <laughs> left. Alright, so now that we've got that, what do they need is input. They need corn. You know what? That's what we need. A little bit more of some corn plantations. Alright, so let's place a couple of them. And I will go ahead and quick build that. Just for good measure. Probably wouldn't hurt to get a Teamsters officer or two because look, actually, well, this guy doesn't have anyone here. How about let's go get the Magnate, who is our sister, or is it we our are wife? A small Something like that. Um, where are the fishes? They're there. Okay, we can make some use out of them. $20,000 for all these docks. It's actually actually the exact same amount. The cloth, the gold, and the pineapples. Okay, so I guess that's all the... Um, yeah, the, the cloth is what we've imported before. So they're just on-selling in, in what we imported, which is interesting. We're recouping Elections our losses, I guess. 
Uh, we should win this election without too many problems. I can always um, do a bit of tax cuts as well, which will really help us out. Because we've got so much money that I can't afford to do that. Yeah, these guys really need their corn. And I'll give it to them, though. Should help them out, hopefully. What I also do is do that and check out what these people are protesting about. I'll just buy them out. That'll make him quiet, which is what we want. I want to stifle all dissent. Game does look very nice, though. I must say, the new game engine for Tropico 5 does look very, very good. And they're releasing a game very similar to Omerta, which came out, I think, two years ago now. Almost, probably three years ago, Omerta. No, two years ago, I think. Um, that was a very, very interesting game. A bit like XCOM. It was like a turn-based game. Um, turn-based strategy game. Something very unique, very different. And uh, they were releasing a game very similar to that called Crooks, based on, not like, 1970s Miami crime syndicates. Sounds very interesting. Calypso is always uh, one of those game developers that produce interesting games that are completely out there, which is great to see. Sometimes they produce crap, but sometimes they produce some absolute gems. Like Obviously, Tropico is one of their mainstay series, but they do like to experiment, which is um, very commendable. There's not enough of that, especially when it comes to PC games. Like, fairly decent PC games. Got drones flying out around everywhere. Killing our criminal masterminds. Making so much money as well, it's not a problem. I am very surprised that um, our export of food to the of is nowhere near as good as I thought it would be. Um, hmm. What I want to do is just check out. Open, geez, there's a lot of open jobs, the for, especially for illiterate people. Yay, we won the election. I guess that was expected, though. What I will do, though, is get some more Rakia. Hopefully, these guys have started producing now, which is good. They'll be delivering, hopefully, to these factory farms any moment now. And we should be exporting food soon. Should. I mean, we're... We're exporting pineapples, though. Alright, so I figured out what was going on that was wrong. And um, it's actually not the exported food that happens incidentally. You actually need to choose it manually through the ports. Um, so what I've gone ahead and done is I went to trade and I just clicked on agriculture, the food. Um, because that's what we need to export. There was only one trade available, and that was pineapples. Now, thankfully, I do have three pineapple farms. I might have a little bit more somewhere else, but I do know I have at least three. So we have a trade going on with the EU now, which is a great relief. So I'm getting to work on that, and hopefully that will work perfectly for us. Um, I've also gotten rid of local consumption, so our very own people can't go ahead and um, take the food there. Uh, we've built a couple of tenements to hopefully go ahead and... Um, start delivering the corn that we're building up over here to the factory farms that we've got and we should be pretty good hopefully anyway uh, let's just check out this oil well also needs to be upgraded as well so let's do that and there we go we are finally exporting those pineapples so hopefully we won't be running into any more problems now what else i can do is modernize all of these apartments to make them super higher. So let's go do that. This is going to be looking pretty crazy. Once they all get built up. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> and as soon as we build that. The earth starts shaking with an earthquake. The earthquake is over. We made it. I am now going to. And look at that. One of the new buildings actually got destroyed. So I'm going to have to rebuild all. And. Um. Oh, actually, we do have just enough electricity, I think, for these modern 
apartments, which is a surprise because you can make them luxury flats, but um, the housing quality is increased, but it takes an additional 10 megawatts of electricity. So at the moment, it is just a waiting game for us trying to export as much of that pineapple as we possibly can. I think we're well on top of things though. We should be good. And I'll also just extend that by another 12 months. Maybe buy some protesters. I don't really even need to bother negotiating them because we've got so much money. It is the year 2001. June 2001. I wonder if anything happens on 9-11. September 2001. I don't think it would. But we do have planes flying out above. Almost hitting those apartment buildings. Thankfully not. Alright. We're back down to 51% happiness, but I think we're going to be good. It's just a waiting game now. Um, waiting up for the um, exports. Almost halfway down now anyway. Oh no, an oil well has been complete. Okay. What about this guy? I thought we had the 15,000 upgrade. I guess not. I must have forgotten about it. Or maybe we did it. So, because yeah, I've um, restarted with so many um, checkpoints off. Of course, we lost on purpose. And then um, my derpy moments in um, thinking something was glitched up, whereas you had to manually export things. Next is the talent competition. So, it doesn't make much sense because it says export 25,000 food. And for most missions um, like that, you can just export just any type of food just normally like you normally would export food and all of these docks said they were exporting um, food such as pineapple 3,000 pineapple that was pretty much all of them were saying but I guess that doesn't work or it didn't or doesn't work like that for this mission which is unfortunate I also extend with another 12 months and it's just a waiting game as we keep on saying What's this guy's problem? We need more tenements and all. Not tenements, sorry. Um, teamsters. Working hard. I'll just actually pay them all maximum wages. Just so they can be happy. Those apartment buildings look very weird compared to everything else. Like, every other building is really small. We've got like a 1920s style of building. Whereas uh, these modern apartments are just so massive. Um, I think we might be able to also build... Oh, here we go. Fashion companies. No, not really. I don't want to build that. Electronics factory requires both bauxite and gold. Or a chocolate factory, both cocoa and sugar. Um, I remember in Tropico 4, we were able to build... Like, offices. I guess that's not available here. No. I guess not. Oh, here we go. Offices. There we go. And what do offices do actually? It generates money based on the number of people living in the vicinity. So, I'm not sure if this is close enough. We might build a couple more offices then. On either side. Quick build these ones because why not, right? I was asked to tell you that red staplers are officially banned from our newly opened office building. For some unknown reason, they set off the fire detectors there. Ah. So this guy's got 147 customers. This guy's only got 61. Whereas these guys have zero. That's very interesting. So it seems like the range is very small for the office. So that's the problem with this game. Like as I said in a previous episode... The one thing that they should show you is just the range of the effectiveness of the buildings. It doesn't do that at all, which is a bit of a shame. Also, I do need to watch out for my happiness ratings as well. Um, we're not producing anywhere near enough power, it seems like. Total power and total cheese, we're at six. We've got six available power. There's nothing. Definitely something I should keep an eye out on. Also, upgrade my hospitals. Yeah, 
go. We're just about done, just about done with the exports, which is great news. For those that are interested in that. Uh, we can also upgrade our stadiums, but I guess we've already done that. I'm very worried about the 48% happiness. I mean, if it comes down to it, I could give my people um, tax cuts and all that. But... What about upgrading a tavern or two? Well, we can't really do that. Upgrade restaurants, though. Officers don't really make us all that much money, I must say. Make all of these well off. Um, so it shouldn't be too much of a hassle for the poor people. Oh, no. That run out of coal? Really? Really? That is a big surprise. So, where's some more coal for us to exploit? There's iron there. Don't tell me that was the only coal. Deposit depleted, you tell me. Um, did I have... Yeah, I did have the geological survey enacted. Good. It's just making sure. So I guess all I've got is that uranium mine. And like, just some other random stuff, which isn't all that important. Like bauxite. Damn. So are we going to have enough power? Coal. I'm going to have to do is go trade. Uh, it seems like we've got two spare ships, so... Let's have a look. Mining and logging. Coal, import, yes. Thankfully, it's not all that um, expensive. So we should be able to import that pretty simply, hopefully. Um, I'll also just increase this just a little bit. So it should be next ship. Here we go. Export pineapples to EU. This should be it. Hopefully. Once we get the pineapples going. Some people are protesting. Good on them. Jeez, we got so much money. Fi oh, don't tell me we we're going to be 500 off. No. That's not fair. Oh, come on. Boo. What about this ship? No, the Defiant. That guy's selling a lot of stuff, particularly pharmaceuticals. Look at this guy go. He's chugging away. The pharmaceuticals Elections definitely pays off. Coming, I'm going to have to probably do a tax cut. I think I will do a tax cut. Good evening. In the meantime, though, I'll buy the protesters. We're down to 50% each. 50% apiece. How about let's check the Almanac and go to um, Happiness. Food is really bad. I'm surprised. Why well, it's that bad? Interesting. Um, housing's... Well, we've got everything else that's pretty good. It's just that um, the Caribbean Happiness is much higher. So I guess I need better entertainment. So let's get on top of that. And build some much better entertainment over on this side. Luxury entertainment. Squeeze whatever we can and I'll quick build all of this. Like a dolphinarium. Oh, here we go. We've exported the right amount of food. That's brilliant. Brilliant. So that's four out of five. Whoa! I was as excited as a school oh, that was the um, that had missile. Doors here in the drone missile. I think I'm beginning to understand the language of our ocean friends. It's early to state with any certainty, but I think the little guys are trying to thank us for something, and it's almost as if they are waving me goodbye. All right, and. We'll go with another circus, maybe. Right in over here. And quick build that, just for good measure. Seems like we are well on track to win this election. There we go, 52% to 48. Presidente, this is the final event. If we win this, we win Penultimo Ball and the Golden Moustache. The loser will have to shave. 
Oh, and uh, we will also get the toucan, of course. From memory, it wasn't um, this Penultimo the one that shaved that made the other Penultimo aware that his lover was actually a man? I think so. The final event is the customary inner beauty. I am not sure how we should approach this. What angle should we use? Moral pillar, family man, or use x-rays? Now, use x-rays, um, I used this the first time I played this mission. And that does, you need to produce, I think, 5,000 megawatts of power or something. Or something like that. Or 5,000 extra megawatts of power, which isn't all that difficult, especially if you build a nuclear power plant. So, instead, let's go have a look at Moral Pillar instead of Family Man. Let's go Moral Pillar. Oh, great idea, Presidente. Only everybody laughs when my name and Moral is used in the same sentence. I can't understand why. <laughs> I wonder why, Penultimo. Uh, then, too, I think that this way will be hardest, and I swore an oath never to do things that are hard. So I shall just assume you said x-rays instead. It turns out there is just one proper way to measure true inner beauty, Presidente. With a giant x-ray machine. I guess I was wrong. Um, it always just goes to the x-ray. So, Professor... Profession. Profession Zwein... I have to see that's wrong. Professor Zweinstein will take care of the technical details, but he's somewhat concerned that this round will be a draw. He said that he needs lots of electrical power to guarantee my victory using the power of science. This wouldn't hurt, would it, Presidente? Increase power production by 2,000 megawatts. You'll lose the game if you fail to complete the task in 30 months. Now, what I failed to do, or what I did, is I built the nuclear power plant way too early in the game. So it was very hard to actually build that 200 megawatts of, um, or 2,000 megawatts of power. But this time, it's going to be easy because all we need to do is just pretty much build a nuclear power plant and we should be good. So what we're going to do is go over here, go to nuclear power plant. Quick build that. Quick build everything, really. The big topic of gossip this week is the secret get recipe that our scientists use to make energy in the nuclear power plant. Some say the secret ingredient is uranium while others think it's polonium, and even thorium. Personally, I like to do things the way my ex-boyfriend Chuck taught me, and crush atoms with my bare fists, instead of using a shiny reactor. But you know how it is. Different strokes for different folks. All right. So it should be very easy to get the 2,000 extra megawatts of power with this nuclear power plant. So let's go have a look. We're producing already 1,600 with just these, um, not windmills, but um, wind farms. And the one power plant that we've got. Fortunately, a bit of power is running out. Uh, shouldn't be a problem though. Oh, look at that, we're actually going, we went back down to minus power. We lost some power, but we as soon as we get... Influence the outcome of as soon as we get this... Um, mine uranium mine to start working well for us and uh delivering the uranium to this nuclear power plant we should be good what i'll do is also extend that road join them up there we go we won 53 percent and that is going to be the final election of at least the esp espionage downloadable content. No doubt there'll be some small DLCs, but I doubt there'll be another big expansion, to be quite honest. Because there's been two for this game already. It's been about a year and a month. Yeah, about a year and a month since Tropico 5 was released, so... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's going to be happening, but uh, um, as I mentioned, they are going to be releasing some new games like Crooks. Um, it's called like Crooks the Heist or something like that. Um, a game like Omerta. Oh, there goes another drone. Killing our own citizens. <laughs> and um, So yeah, I don't think there'll be any more expansions for Tropico. Which is a bit unfortunate, but that means Tropico 6 will be no doubt very soon um, around the corner. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of the YouTubers that got um, Tropico 5 early. To be able to showcase. I was a little bit butt mad about that, I must admit. Very entitled of me to say that, but it would have been nice to be able to cover. I, I should get in contact with Calypso. I've tried to, but um, 
They're very hard to get in contact with. Now they've got um, Twitter and all, so we'll have to wait and see. Here we go. 40 more megawatts of power. Come on, folks. You guys can do it. Let's pay them off a little bit more. Here we go. We've got it. We have one. Any second now. As soon as it takes into account our pay rise and that extra person that just joined in. Two people that joined in now. Gemma Salazar. Presidente, we won the, the inner guy. beauty challenge. It turns out they awarded the point to whomsoever had the biggest boobs. And I gained a little weight recently. <laughs> what? You won the inner beauty event. All right. So that is going to be it for... I did it, Presidente. Huh? <laughs> the game. In your face, me. How does it feel to suck in the one thing that defined you? Being you. <laughs> Such a sorry SOB. I feel really bad for him. <laughs> Tears of joy and fulfillment, Presidente. I've never been happier in my life. I won us the toucan. Me. It was all me. I am Mr. Universe. Well, Mr. Penultimo Universe, at least. We win the game. All right. So, that is that for the campaign of Tropico 5 Espionage. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed that just as much as I have playing it. Although it was challenging, especially at the start. We did much better at the end. Till next time though guys, I hopefully you enjoy and I'll see you guys again another time.